colossal, it's stupendous, it's conspicuously incredible! Help me, help me, step right up! Hey, Sonny, you wanna give it a try? Hello everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Conspicuously Incredible Gaming. I am your host, Mike. Today I am continuing on my journey through Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, and I've been playing in light of the new Insane Trilogy that has come out. Of course, I don't have that game, I'm just playing through the original ones. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, let me just go ahead and get right into this. So I've already loaded up my game from yesterday, and uh, hello, Mr. Batman. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I worked a little bit on the intro. <laughs> really, really wasn't much of anything. Just most of it off the top of my head. All right. Um, so I guess I had found extra, the extra levels. The uh, <laughs> uh, hey, man, that's not a problem. Save it again. It's not a problem, man. Alright, so I was trying to figure out why. I mean, I'm already like, what? This is like 27? And I was looking, but just before I started, it's like, what, level 7, level 2, level 14. So these, this, these are probably where, where I end up going to what levels in order to come back out in this particular hub but uh yeah i didn't don't remember doing very good leaving out of this uh this level yesterday oh yeah that's right fireflies Nitro, which I didn't make yesterday for some reason. Oh, uh, nope. Yeah, it is, uh, <laughs> his arc is crash called backwards. Um, yeah, um, since I'm kind of in between jobs right now, I've kind of been going back to sleep. My, you know, the normal, like normal people do. So I also just got up a little while ago. But yeah, um, never really been a a big big fan of Minecraft but I like uh, when people do their own customizations and stuff and there's a couple of games I've kind of always wanted to do customizations for but uh, look at that oh how did I leaving me I can't see oh. 
<laughs> I don't know how that worked out, but it did. And that was close. Yeah, that's gonna take so much time to try to Yep. Dark, but the water is shining. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's about either. Ah. Oh, Velocilizard. Lizard. I got what they were trying to do there. Uh, I was pretty much just supposed to go on through in the dark and get all those boxes and those fruit. It was supposed to help me know when I could turn around and go get that firefly. And I just don't feel like <laughs> trying to mess it up today. Well, I mean, everybody just makes friends differently, man. I mean, I, at, at 15, the only people, the only people I hung out with were uh, family members, and I only talked to a, a handful of people at school. I, I didn't go out and talk to these people really, other than that. Oh yeah, me too. Sometimes I'd rather just not deal with people. I don't know, it's... Well, it's different though, and, and see those, uh... People always mistake anti-social with asocial. Like, if, if I were anti-social, I'd be against... You know, other people having a good time, and I'm not. I just, I'm asocial. I just don't bother to participate most of the time. Being, uh... Even as I got older, and I'd have people, uh... I'd have people invite me to parties and stuff like that. And it was just disappointing every single time. Must be a uh, palma grenades. Ah, come on now. Oh, Mr. Two Face. Hit the checkpoint that time. Wasn't doing so hot yesterday. Ah, uh, crud.
Did I get through this one yesterday? It looks a little familiar. No, I didn't. Not have done that. <laughs> we'll, however, hit that first. <laughs> Quack, what? <laughs> What's guac? Squawk? <laughs> Did I jump on a bird? I'm kind of kind of still waking up a little bit right now. <laughs> oh yeah, squawk. <laughs> oh, that that thing there. Ah. He's allergic to bees. Look at that. I can't go back in there now. Nope. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to run because I don't know. Uh, I don't know how best to kill those things yet. Huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was always a squawk. We had a <laughs> we had a cockatiel just be quiet, and all of a sudden <laughs> he'd go squawk. Ah. Yeah, I wish I had the uh, the room or the patience anymore to really even take care of any pet. I like animals, I just don't really have the time or anything to take care of. I couldn't take care of one like I wanted to. Ah. Like a motorcycle speeding up, yeah. Or a little Vespa or something, a little scooter. <laughs> Me. Is there a... No, there isn't a way to... <laughs> I thought that was going to work. But it didn't. I guess I am just going to have to run from the bees. <laughs> They're hardly showing up on my screen either. I don't know if that's a uh, a texturing error or 
what that is. I can barely even see him. I, I can see him there. But it's like they only appear when they want to appear. Ah, I didn't time it. <laughs> what have I got? <laughs> that sound got stuck. Yeah, I could do without these bees. That's for sure. But it seems like they only follow you a certain distance. Which is good. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're part of that B motorcycle gang. <laughs> that was more like an electric toothbrush bogging down. <laughs> At least I got the checkpoint. Ah, uh, was this? This was. No, there... there was some way to get up under this, wasn't there? Or I uh, must be. Uh... Ah. That's one thing I do remember: is certain spots in here you could kind of get up under the ground in a way, almost like a carpet. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I, I, I knew it was some way in there. <laughs> That's neat. Oh yeah, mosquito. Imperial. <laughs> I don't know who thought that was a good idea. I mean, it helps, but. Yes, let's let's make the bandicoot burrow underground. That'll do it. Ah, uh, landmine. He looked like Dale Gribble from King of the Hill with a sledgehammer in his hand. That or Elmer Fudd. Still missed a good deal of them, but... There we go. <laughs> that would be weird just to see it come right up out of the ground <laughs> oh no
There's a couple of videos on YouTube where this guy catches these moles and stuff, and he ended up letting them go a couple of times. And man, to see them moles, the way they get right back in the ground and dig, them moles can dig fast. I did not know they could dig that fast. <laughs> well, uh, got some old Dean Martin. Seal of approval. Or, 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 or. Would be nice if there was some pizza in this game. Actually, it'd be nice to have some pizza right now. I got some pot pies though, I'm gonna make here in a little while. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it looks like it. Either that or old uh, Chili Willy. That's an old cartoon there. Really? Same place. I'm kind of almost... Uh, it'd be nice to see the, uh, the scrat from Ice Age. Just run by still trying to catch that nut. Wow, look at that. Wasn't even aiming and I hit that. <laughs> yeah, they are sliding to their death. <laughs> like lemmings. Actually, lemmings don't actually do that. Walk off of cliffs. I heard that was the filmmakers that actually made them do that. The you know, early example of animal cruelty. That's a fun way to start your day on a cheery, upbeat, uh, true to, uh, true story, yeah, true statement. I did not even see that there. I didn't see that there though, that's for sure. Come on, crash move. Uh, so I know I know an AK, but I don't really know if I could even point it out of a lineup. I've definitely heard of the AK-47. I, I think it's a... Um, Kind of a submachine gun. Yeah, I've. Yeah, I've heard of lemmings. I think I need to. Uh... I don't think I have it on Steam. I'm gonna have to try to try to find it. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I think an AK-47 is a uh, oh, full auto rifle. I, 
uh, it, I think it's somewhat like an M16. Oh, run. Laced all these blocks with TNT. Like, who would leave this much explosives just laying around? Oh. Oh, it's too late on that one. <laughs> there he Get out of there. Well, yeah, of course. I mean... <laughs> I'm speaking in, like, realistic, like if this were actually real sense. There we go. <laughs> Kill them while they're spinning, the terrorists. <laughs> they wanna what they wanna blow up Crash's world? No, no, the heck with that bandicoot. We don't like him. All that whirling and twirling and I think I've heard something similar to an M1 or M4, I mean, but Nah, I, uh, like I said, I don't know guns very well at all. I got Windows doing unauthorized actions here. Auto SWAT rifle, okay. Sorry there, Mr. Chili Willy. Oh, that was close. Uh, porcupine. Crash Pro Man 9, what's up? <laughs> he, he's pushing for his new gun store. <laughs> no, some people just are gun enthusiasts. My uh, my cousin doesn't own. <laughs> I think he uh owns like a, a rifle and a shotgun, and that's about it. But he can he can tell you, he can tell you whatever gun was. Any game he's playing, he can tell you. Uh, what program? Uh, it's called XSplit. I'm using the free version right now because I don't have enough subs to really justify buying a membership. Uh, I did get it through, um, well, I, I got a three-month membership through Steam when they did, uh, or Humble Bundle, I mean, but I just haven't used it yet. I figured I'd get, take time to get used to it first and then uh, use that three month thing that they gave me. But yeah, it's called XSplit Broadcaster. Gamecaster works some too, but I don't have as much control over my, um, over like scenes and stuff as I do on this. And I'm using just a crappy little uh, USB capture device right now. I don't actually have a, uh, yeah, uh, it's, well, it's Broadcaster. I have Gamecaster, but Gamecaster, uh, doesn't give me as much options as I'd like. What the heck? Can I get up there without blowing my stuff off? Yeah, I can't like fade in and out and do uh, like cards and stuff, do um, 
bumps with on uh, Gamecaster. I'm pretty much just stuck with uh, whatever it's capturing. Ugh. <laughs> Major League game, LG style. I, I'm, uh, I'm just a user, though. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a vendor or anything like that. I'm just, uh, I'm. I tried OBS, and for some reason, I couldn't get OBS to work. But I realized uh, XSplit works just as good, if not better. Some people swear by OBS. Some people uh, don't. I just picked one that worked. No, actually, as a matter of fact, um, OBS stopped playing friendly with my computer. Apparently they... Ah, apparently they don't like each other. Yeah, <laughs> conspicuously MLG Gaming. <laughs> I tried it, I could just never get it to work for me. Ah, come on. Don't, don't jump on the nitro boxes, what are you doing? And then, um... Yeah, by the time I was just starting to get used to uh, OBS, trying to get it to work, it my computer had problems with it. It didn't want to load up anymore. And I had to find another alternative. I mean, actually, it's not bad for a three-month membership. It's 14 or $17, something like that. And, um, I mean, if you really have the money, you can get a lifetime full subscription for like, well, they're still running that sale for like $200, but... I do something with the settings, like um, OBS, probably. Because it just had so much, so much junk there. I mean, I had somebody say, oh, OBS is more comprehensive and gives you more options. And, still shouldn't have done that. And, um, yeah, I just couldn't get the thing. It, it was it was too much. I just couldn't get the thing to do what I wanted to. And I may have changed, you know, like, rendering from hardware to software or something like that. And it just didn't want to load after that. Uh, well, I still get lag, but it's because of my internet now. I upgraded my CPU and my uh, graphics card not long ago. And now just the uh, internet won't keep up. Obscure basic service OBS. <laughs> you guys done going crazy? We still want to talk about guns? <laughs> No, just just give it a try though. I mean, <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Almost wasn't ready for that. A little chilly willy again. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Mountain Dew and Doritos. Oh. Nah, I prefer, um... I kind of prefer Dr. Pepper and Bugles. No, I'm different than a lot of people when it comes down to your general, typical gamer. Most all the gamers that I know drink Mountain Dew. And I'm a Dr. Pepper drinker. I, I don't know how to explain it really other than that. Uh, hang on, just, just a moment. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong, um, 
Mountain Dew is good and Doritos are definitely good. But yeah, I just, I'm kind of more of a Dr. Pepper, uh, a, a dark, a cola type person. <laughs> it's nacho cheese, yeah. I think the ranch are a little bit better though. Ah, uh, what the heck. Another one of these. Yeah, I figured they'd hide that right behind there. Ah, see, why did I do that? It's gonna have to be a quick slide. Because as soon as I kill that one thing, he's gonna start moving over. And the, um, <laughs> Shasta Tiki Punch Soda. <laughs> what is another two guns or something? <laughs> um, yeah, either version of X-Split, if you get a, um, a license, you know, you buy the whatever to get the full version, it works for Broadcaster and for, uh, and for Gamecaster. So whatever one works for you, you don't have to worry about buying a separate license for <laughs> no, that's fine. We we have all kinds of different stuff in different locations. I think that's kind of what you're referring to. <laughs> ah, come on. That's going to have to be tricky there. I think I might just leave them. They seem to be more trouble to kill than what they're worth. <laughs> Split broad do. <laughs> Get them frequent gamer points. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them go. They're that much trouble to kill. Yeah, no, I'm over here on the on the east coast. Come here, monkey. Yeah, <laughs> an exploded monkey. Should not have done that. That's great. Okay, I don't know how I pulled that off. <laughs> <laughs> I said they must have ate some uh, hot peppers or something. Hot! Hot, 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 hot! Oh, I messed up there. Think. Yep. It climbed on top of that. Yep, now I'm screwed. Oh well. I'll come back in. Yeah, I don't know what them uh, gorilla statues been eating, but I don't want any. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I don't want any. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 
ML Green, G M L G. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> chat some too. Right. I like that twist that all oh, the the green gem. Uh, I remember how to get some but I'm also trying uh I'm not really trying to 100% uh, this either. I'm just kind of playing through it. Ah, I knew it. At least I don't have to depend on getting through here to save like in the first one. That was a pain. Yeah. I don't know what that sound effect was. Maybe that was just part of the music. <laughs> just like a goofy little, uh... What? Am, am I stuck? I am stuck inside the box. <laughs> glitched. <laughs> I'm glitched. I can't get out of the box. I can't... What? I can't. <laughs> I can't get out of the box. <laughs> really? Well, I've never seen that happen before. I hope I saved it before I went in here. Yeah, I think I can go back to the warp room. Yeah, I definitely can. Uh, I have no clue how I managed to do that. <laughs> I have no clue how I managed to do that. Oh, Green Jim is hidden behind the fake doors in the nitro room. Well, I have the opportunity now to go back. After that ordeal. I don't know how I got stuck in the box. But nope. You're not playing anymore today, Bandicoot. I think I gotta land on the platform actually. That would help. There we go. Yeah. The possums there. Yeah, I'm not messing with you because you unleashed the beast back there. That was close. Yeah, I might do a separate set of streams later on after actually going through and beating some of these where I try to go back through the games and uh, get everything. Yeah, just my main mission right now is to uh, just to get through them. <laughs> yep, we're just stuck in the tower of boxes after all that. Yep. 
The Tower of Boxes is his weakness. You talking about this room here? Or are you talking about, uh, really fell off the platform again? Sorry, monkey. He's been standing there. Second warp room, first. Oh, okay. Oh, monkey. That spooked me. I'd gotten one so far. Oh no, that was uh, forgetting all the boxes. I did find that secret warp room though. Oh, and he's stuck on the torch. Really? Jump that high from a metal box. I don't know. Run, run, run. Oh, let's try not to get stuck in the boxes again. <laughs> I don't even know how I got stuck in there. I tried to split the difference earlier. Again, I must have got caught between the uh, the boundaries of the sprites. There we go. And I didn't get stuck. Now I just gotta keep from falling to my doom. Wee! I don't know what was up with that either. It didn't start counting down until I jumped off it. Boom. Not really that concerned over it. Could be or should be, but we hit the jackpot <laughs> like a slot machine pegging out. Ching, 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 ching. Sorry, monkey. <laughs> That's a very interesting story. <laughs> I wish I could comment, but this is a uh, 
Trying to keep this channel a little bit clean. Come on back over here. Ah. Uh, M19, one Yeah, no, I'm, I'm completely lost. I, I think I've heard of an M19, but... Ah, so what the heck kind of sorcery is that? By Clorox that cleans everything. <laughs> yep. Well, see, then I'd be, um, I'd be bleaching out the stream. You'd see nothing but just, uh, smears and. Oh, semi-auto handgun, okay. Ah. Waited. Should have waited again. This is uh, this thing's ridiculous. There. That's a heck of a platform to be trying to to jump on. <laughs> hey, look, I made it. They on there. <laughs> Sounds very similar to the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog story. Well, I know I didn't get all the boxes anyway, so I'm not going to try to jump on that. Oh no. Donkey Kong over there throwing barrels at me or, or logs. Oh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Like we, went, we went back to Super Nintendo days. Alright, did I save? Yep. No, dude. Okay, one last one. What is this? Uh, be oh, behaving. Oh no. All right, man. Uh, see you later. Thanks for watching, though, Aiden. Appreciate the views, that's for sure. Oh, Dale Gribble. Come <laughs> on.
Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that was going to happen. <laughs> he hit me with a hammer. Oh, the motorcycle bees. Oh, get back on the ground. Ah, no. <laughs> Still don't think I could hit those nitro boxes though. I don't think I'm gonna attempt it. Nope. Haha. <laughs> Run, 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 run. <laughs> They're coming to get me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it was like whack-a-mole, but with a <laughs> with a bandicoot. <laughs> Bad bandicoot. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Oh, I got a feeling there's probably something up there. Uh, uh, more of those. <laughs> He just only sticks his arm out. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling there might have been something up there. Uh, but... I don't know if I want to actually... Ah, I got stung by bee. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, by the way. Um... All right, I know I'm gonna butcher this name. <laughs> Ungar Saral. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, well, I don't want to blow myself up. Uh, I don't want to blow myself up, that's for sure. But it does look like there was something, something there. Get back over here and. Ah, uh, I, I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, knock old uh, Hammer Elmer Fudd <laughs> in through those nitro blocks. That probably might be one of the better way. <laughs> really? We're going to play that game? All right. See, that's the problem. There's something there, but I don't want to get blown up. And I think there might be a switch or something that I could come back to get them. Right now, I don't want blown up. And the bees and the bees and the bees. Uh, 
there we go. Ah. Uh, this bubbling cauldron of doom. That's, uh... <laughs> Apu, Oopa, P, Rip Roo, <laughs> Conga Longa. <laughs> XX, Potaroo, XX, Nitro, Shoot, Neo, Do. <laughs> I did it as best I could. <laughs> Fortunately, I know how to play it smart. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, and get out of there. Nope. Dorito, Doria Coot. Mm. There we go. That worked out. Ah, more bees, more bees. <laughs> okay, I snorted. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I go AK-47. Should not have done that. <laughs> what <Well>, XX <laughs> Uka Uka XX? <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that's become a meme in itself too. Just taking some name and then putting XX on either end of it. blow up and get out of there. Better blow up and turn back. Oh, they're still gonna get me though. I think I got it. 
As long as you don't follow me in here. Ah, I missed one box. <laughs> Alright, so... I think now is just the boss fight. Yep. Crash, I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nectris Rio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Rio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he did, did didn't he? <laughs> or not. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to engine. Oh, engine, yeah. How many do I got, though? I still need five more. <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> you only do YouTube for money. Doesn't everybody? No, I just, uh, you know, I like playing games. Yeah, I'd like to make a little extra money at it. Uh, I think all of us would, but... It's, uh... You know, it's giving me an opportunity, uh... It's giving me an opportunity to, to talk to people I haven't been able to talk to, and... Play through games and everything, and... Like I said, I'd have never known all that about Cave Story had it not been for... Uh, you guys helping. I would have never known how to get through it, so... Oh, this guy here. Like Dr. Cortex said, give the 20 crystals you've collected to me. Well, I hope he's got an endless supply. I was trying to... Ah. Up, down, up. <laughs> uh, down, up, up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> old, old sand pot. Yep. <laughs> ah. I want to have to watch the pattern of that. Like, I hope he had enough of those fruits stored up. I done collected enough between this game and the last one. Plenty crystals you need to collected to M3. Oh. oh, there's one of your one of your guns. Whew, I almost got caught in the railing again. <laughs> Unlimited. Yeah, I hope so. I don't need to be running out here in the middle of this fight. I'd end up, uh, splatting the windshield. Oh, yep.
Sorry, show me the other one. Show me the other one. There we go. Really? I just had to jump off the platform. Yeah, that's not good. This <laughs> is the noise they're making. The noise they're making as they're slamming off the uh the metal. With the <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he is. I had a, I had a viewer Neo Cortex come in here yesterday. As a matter of fact, yeah, he was very displeased with my resistance. Child-friendly game. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to read the chat and uh, for a wumpa fruit at the same time. A child-friendly game with a robot <laughs> with a bomb stuck in his head. He <laughs> had one of his eyes popping out. Well, like in some spots when uh, Crash gets blown up by, uh, like, TNT or Nitro or something, the only thing is left is his eyeballs and his shoes. I'm like, yeah, how is that kid friendly? So he's gonna jump up and yep. Startle the crap out of me here. <laughs> Sounds like a creeper. Well, come on now. Come on back. I can't throw him in any angle, I just have to throw him straight forward. Which is kind of Kind of ridiculous. There we go. Master Cortis will be very displeased with your resistance. Prepare to suffer his wrath. <laughs> like shoving a potato in a tailpipe. <laughs> I just shoved some wampa fruit down his uh his cannon. Oh, I don't. Ask you again. I don't think I can do a speed run. Obtain the remaining five crystals, crash, and bring them to me. I'm definitely not that good at these games to do a speed run. That's for sure. Uh, not to say I wouldn't do a speed run on a particular game later, but my my confidence in my ability to do a speed run on this game. Is not there. <laughs> why? <laughs> you want to know why? Because I know I'll lose. <laughs> not that I'm a sore loser type of way. I mean, like, I will badly lose. Like, I won't even be any kind of a fight to put up, you know. I, I, I won't be any kind of competition. <laughs> it just won't be a fair, uh, a fair competition, that's all. Well, so this has uh, been about an hour and something, an hour and 15, and uh, I have to say, the stream actually held out today. I didn't uh, didn't go poof. I, I don't know how that happened, but hey, I hope to have more like that. <laughs> yeah, MLG Pro, yep. That's what I said. I, <laughs> not that I'm a sore loser or anything, but... Yeah, I just wouldn't be any kind of competition whatsoever. You'd be playing up against a child, basically. Childlike level. 
All right, so let me go ahead and um, go ahead and wrap it up for today, and I will be back tomorrow, same time, same channel. Drag the volume down here, and mute that. Yeah, my <laughs> yeah, my stream finally consumed the sand pot. All right, so here we go. This has been Conspicuously Incredible Gaming with your host, Mike. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you really, really like this content, throw a couple of dollars my way at patreon.com slash conspicuouslyincredible. Becoming a patron will grant you access to more mature games and more mature language and a whirling twirling bandicoot. Whirling twirling bandicoot, not a thing, it's just a joke as always. Uh, so far I have uh, me and my cousin playing AVG and Adventures, and I, the other night, just put up me playing uh, Ultimate Doom. So, uh, yeah, there is content up there, and I will have more for you uh, in the future. So, until then, take care, and I shall see you all later. Conspicuously Incredible Gaming is a Conspicuously Incredible production.